The boundary condition dialog has a text editing box, paired with each of the checkboxes, specifying the state of restraint. These text boxes are used in inputting either the spring constants or prescribed displacements. The spring constants are applicable for unrestrained degrees of freedom, and the prescribed displacements are applicable for restrained degrees of freedom. This tutorial demonstrates the whole procedure of modeling, assigning and solving stages, so that the effect of spring constants and prescribed displacement can be understood. First, open the project setup dialog, set the project type to 2D frame. Click change unit button. Uncheck no unit item to specify the unit setting. Set the unit for force, length and time. Close unit setting dialog and click OK button to accept the current project setup. Create a frame model with rectangular shape by inputting four straight lines by clicking points. Choose element properties structure item from assign menu. Property dialog appears with a property set, defining the material property and cross section of a frame element. Select all the members and assign the property set by clicking assign button. Choose boundary condition structure item from assign menu. Boundary condition dialog appears with restraints of all the three components. Release the rotational component to make the boundary condition relevant to a pin or hinge support. Assign the set to the two bottom nodes by clicking each of them. Thus, the box-shaped frame is supported by pins at both end of the bottom member. Choose load condition item from assign menu. Load condition dialog appears with the default load set. Change the load type to uniformly distributed and the direction to Y direction. Double click the top member to assign the load set. Click plus minus button to reverse the load direction. Create a new set by clicking new button. Change the load type to linearly distributed and the direction to X direction. Change the top force magnitude, W1 to 1, and the bottom force magnitudes, W2 to 3. Assign the set to the left vertical member by double clicking. Click Exchange Side button to exchange W1 and W2 values. The left vertical member is displayed as being assigned with a trapezoidal force with the intensities of 1 at the top and 3 at the bottom. Click New button of the dialog. Set 3 is created with the attributes copied from Set 2. Assign the set to the right vertical member by double-clicking it. Click Exchange Side button to exchange W1 and W2 value. Click Plus Minus button to reverse the load direction. The right vertical member is displayed as being assigned with a trapezoidal force, with the intensities of minus 1 at the top, and minus 3 at the bottom. The basic modeling of a two-dimensional frame is completed. Choose Bending Moment item from Diagram menu. Then, the Bending Moment diagram is displayed. Choose Deformed Shape item from Diagram menu. Then, the Deformed Shape is displayed. The Bending Moment diagram and Deformed Shape suggest that, it is necessary to add a number of nodes, between two end points of the bottom beam, in order to take account of the contact between the beam and supporting ground. Clear the diagram by choosing Clear Diagram item from Diagram menu. Select the beam, and divide it into 20 segments. Then, 19 nodes are newly added on the bottom beam. Let's examine the change of the analysis results created by adding the middle nodes. The results show that the additional nodes do not make any differences in the bending moment diagram and in the deformed shape. In conclusion, the division does not create any differences in the linear analysis of frame. It is because the ground support for the middle part of the beam is not reflected in the model. Let's add roller supports to the middle nodes to take account of the ground support. Choose Boundary Condition item from Assign menu. Clear diagram for the next analysis. Create a new boundary condition, that is, Set 2, by clicking New button. Modify Set 2 by releasing the restraints in X direction. Select the middle nodes on the bottom beam by rubber band and assign the boundary condition. Let's examine the differences created by the modified boundary condition. The deformed shape shows no vertical displacements of the middle nodes. The bending moment diagram also shows no bending moment in the middle part of the beam. Such unrealistic results are obtained, because the hinge supports do not allow vertical displacements, although the ground support goes through elastic deformation in reality. For more accurate analysis, the ground supports should be modeled as elastic ones instead of rigid ones. 
Such modeling can be achieved using spring boundary conditions. In order to define the spring boundary condition, release the restraints in Y direction. Click the text image of prescribed displacement on the dialog. Then, the text changes into spring constant. Now, the edit text box is ready for inputting the spring constants. When the screen cursor is placed over the text box, the yellow pop-up tip shows that the unit of the spring constant is kilo newton per meter. Insert the value of the spring constant. Input the spring constant incrementally from 1 to 10, 100, 1000, and so on. The diagram shows how the bending moments are changing, in response to the increment of the spring constant. The result approaches the state of the rigid support as the spring constant increases. The same result can be also confirmed by the deformed shape. Recover the bending moment diagram again for the given spring constant, 10,000 kN per meter. The diagram shows symmetrical distribution of the bending moments. Clear the diagram for next analysis with a prescribed displacement. Create a new set of boundary condition. Change the spring constant to zero, and restrain the displacement in x direction. Click the text image of spring constant on the dialog. Then, the text changes into prescribed displacement. Assign the new set to the top right corner node. The symbol mark of vertical roller is attached to the node. When the screen cursor is placed over the text box, the yellow pop-up tip shows that, the unit of the prescribed displacement is meter. Insert the value of the prescribed displacement in the text box. And choose deformed shape item from diagram menu. The deformed shape of the frame shows the rightward sway, due to the prescribed displacement. Increasing the value of the prescribed displacement enlarge the sway. The deformed shape is not actual, but exaggerated one, due to the distorted scale of representing the deformation. The bending moment diagram shows the unsymmetrical variation due to the prescribed displacement. This is the end of the tutorial, for assigning the spring and prescribed displacement as boundary conditions.